Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com. Today I'm really excited to do another farmhouse antique shopping haul and show you all of the things I found from antique shops, thrift shops in the last couple months or since I did my last video. These last couple months or weeks have really been an antique shopping sprint. I don't really know what's gotten into me or how I found so many awesome items, but this whole house is coming together in the last couple weeks just from all the things that I found. So it is high time to share with you some of the things that I bought and my reasoning behind them, their price all that kind of stuff. All right, first off, let's start off in the living room. I know that we have some bokeh going on so that the area behind me is blurred out, but you probably can see my couch set, which I shared with you in a recent video how we painted it. And that was such a cool process, a neat thing that I discovered but that is one of my latest antique finds. Um, if you are interested in learning how to do this process that I use to transform this set, you can check out my recent video. But essentially I got a three piece vintage couch, love seat, and chair set all for $75. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I love how it looks in my living room. Just took a little bit of revamping. The next thing also has to do with the living room and that is a vintage trunk. I have been wanting a trunk for my living room instead of a coffee table. In our last house, we actually built a coffee table and it worked really well for that house. It was a simple craftsman. It looked nice with all of the straight lines and the minimal feel that I had in that room. But in this room, it just looked small and boxy and way too gray and weathered. It did not look Victorian, which is what this house is like country Victorian. So I was in the market for a trunk and I found the most perfect one the other day. I was out antique shopping with my friend Ashley from Little Glass Jar Blog. And at first I walked right past it and then I was looking at it, it had a bunch of things on top of it and I started pulling the things away and I saw it on its own and I was like, ah, I think I want this. And then my friend Ashley was like, you have to get it. And I was like, gosh, I'm not sure. but. After I brought it home, I'm wondering how I ever thought I wouldn't get it. It's so perfect in this room because it has a lot of shades of orange. We have the orange floors because of the original heart pine. It's just the color of them. The doors I had stripped behind me also are that orangish color and it all just ties in and it goes perfectly with my next find, which is my rug. Now backing up a bit, the trunk was $175, which is not a steal to me by any stretch. So if you think that sounds expensive, you're in good company, but it's one of those things that was perfect for this space. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna look anymore, waste any more of my time when I found the perfect piece and always wonder why I didn't get it. So wasn't a steal. And my rug was also not a steal. <laughs> um, my friend Paige from Farmhouse Vernacular, I am constantly texting her on Instagram. We're just Instagram pals. And so we're always going back and forth, sharing different things, whether it pertains to business or decorating, whatever. And I was telling her about my living room and how I'm redesigning it and showing her some of the design elements. Well, I sent her a design board with all of these different elements of this room, the paint color. And she said, I like it, but I really think your rug needs a little help because I had chosen a new rug versus a vintage rug. And I knew I wanted a vintage rug, but the matchy matchy, like wanting the collected look, but not knowing how to put together in me, chose a rug that matched perfectly. And she's like, you just need a pop of color. You need something unexpected. And she sent me a link to eBay for this rug. And I bought it so fast because I love the colors and I never seen a rug with colors like this that I like so much because I do like the Persian wool rugs, but I've gotten some into my space before. The colors have just felt way off. Often there's red in them, which I like red in some cases, but it just never worked. And when I first unrolled this rug into this space, I wasn't sure, but after bringing in my furniture that I painted, and the trunk, I am sold, I love it. I think that it suits this space perfectly and it really gives me a jumping off point for the rest of the room. So it is a vintage rug and it's one of a kind and I love it. 
Okay, the next thing that I haven't shared in any of my antique hauls is my daughter Ruthie's bed. I found Johanna's bed at Goodwill for $20 and I picked up Ruthie's for, I wanna say 150 on Antique Marketplace. It was red and I had to spray paint it white. I shared it with you in my daughter's recent room reveal. And I think that it, even though it isn't the exact same as the other bed in the room, I really like the vintage collected look, so I thought it was a good find. Also in that same category, in the girls' room, the nightstands on both sides and the chair are both recent antique hall finds. Again, I talked more about them in the Farmhouse Girls room reveal, so you can get more details on them there, but I think that they're really perfect and I had to give one of them a makeover, but again, I'm loving the way everything's coming together. Nothing is matchy-matchy, but it still coordinates, which I really find to be key for achieving the collected look. Okay, another is the ladder in the girls' room. I wanted a ladder or a step stool of some kind in there for them to, one, reach the closet in their bathroom, and then also in their new armoire, it's hard for them to reach their dresses, and so I wanted something in there. I looked right away at Target to see if they had any step stools, and I just was like, you know what? I don't, I don't wanna do that. I wanna go with something vintage and old. So I found this chippy ladder, and I, I don't even remember what I paid for it, but I think it was less than $10. I'm thinking six. So I picked it up, and it serves them well in there. Okay, I also found a couple of soap dishes. This one is an ironstone soap dish with the rose pattern on it. I think it's really pretty. I don't really know where it's going. We have three bathrooms in this house that all need renovating. And when they are, I think that these little details will just make them really special. I also picked up another one like this. And I think this one's so pretty. I love the gold that separates from the glass. I don't know, it's another one of those things that I'm like, I have to get that. I think each of these were less than $10, but I already took the price tags off. They're just stored away until we can fill our bathrooms with pretty things. Another thing I found was this 69 inch by 87 inch, not including the edges, tablecloth. Gosh, I really should remember prices, but I know this one was really cheap because it came from an antique shop really near my house and everything there is cheap, but it is so pretty and so cheap. I wanna say it was $6, I don't know. But all of these edges, I love little things like this. Even if I were to cut this up and make a bed skirt uh, with the crochet edges or a little blanket or line some curtains or make it like a little petticoat coming out of a girl's dress, so many things, you can't pass up something like this, even if you don't have a tablecloth to fit it on or a table to fit it on. If it's this cheap, I mean, I could add this little country edging to anything and just love it. Another is a frame. I've been collecting frames. I showed you in my girls' room, I hung up most of the vintage frames that I've been finding above my daughter's desk with all of her artwork in it. And then I also picked up this one. And this one, which has some dried botanicals, this, I'm not gonna keep these photos in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this just yet, but I know it was cheap. And I want to do some kind of gallery of art. Pre a couple months ago, I normally only bought things at an antique shop if I had a space for them. So I'd look at it and think, okay, where is that gonna go? And then I was antique shopping one time with my friend Sarah Jo from Briarton Farm, and she was like, oh no, no. You're doing that all wrong. You have to get the items and then later when you're decorating a room, you have things to pull from, it'll all come together, you'll find a space. And I had never really thought about it like that. And so I always found that whenever I was decorating a room, I needed to go and look for items to fill it versus pulling from a very beautiful and curated collection. And it just makes a lot more sense to me now to do it that way because whenever I'm pulling a room together, it's usually somewhat last minute. I'm trying to do this this week and then I only can find so many things for it. And so by finding these things that I really love, especially for a good price, now I feel like whenever I go to actually do something, I'm going to have things to pull from. Another is this needle point. I got this one off of Facebook Marketplace the owner handed it to me and said that her mother had done this needlepoint back in the 30s and it's just so pretty. It's in this oval frame and I love the colors. 
again, I don't know where it's going, but that's okay because we have so many walls to fill and it's feeling so much cozier with the walls having art and personalized things on them. I also picked up these candelabra things. I think that these will look cool either on either side of a window or a bed. I liked that there was a set so that I can decorate something and have that symmetry, whether it's in this living room or up in our bedroom, I'm not totally sure. But I thought they were really pretty. Okay, another thing I picked up on Facebook Marketplace, now I forget what she called these. These are a certain type of art. I'm sure some of you will know in the comments. I thought the this little set would just be so cute in the kids room so i'm thinking about hanging this up in the nursery they're just really pretty and vintage and i love the size of unique frames so whether it's basically anything other than like an 8 by 10 11 by 14 when it's an oval or a little square or some kind of frilly little circle or something i really like those because i think that they add interest to a gallery wall so even if i don't use the art that's currently in them but i actually like it a lot um, I liked the frame sizes. Another thing I picked up is this mirror. It was $25, so not a total steal, but it's so pretty. I've never seen anything like it. Right now I have it sitting on the bookshelf in the nursery, but I also think it'd be a pretty thing whenever we do make over the bathrooms to set it on the vanity. It's just a little personalized mirror. It's chippy and gold and so unique, and I think it's really pretty. Also, I showed you in my girls room reveal that I have been collecting hand mirrors. I put them together in an arrangement and I think that it turned out really, really nicely. Okay, another thing I found is recently at an antique shop near me, I got this little valance for the bathroom mirror. It was $2, I believe, so I had to have it. And I think it's great because it adds a little bit of privacy to our bathroom window, which before had none. Another thing recently I found is this frame that I am going to use for a watercolor that my friend Sarah Jo did of our farmhouse. She handed it to me a few weeks ago whenever we went and visited Laura Ingalls house. I made a vlog about that on here, but whenever she handed it to me, I was thinking, okay, this is beautiful, but I'm going to have to find the right frame for it. And I ended up finding it within three or four days of that trip. Like the very next time I went to an antique shop, I found it. I spray painted it because it wasn't a color I really loved and it fit perfect. I had to trim just a tiny bit off of one of the sides, but she left me some negative space for that. And it's gonna be perfect to add to our living room. I'm gonna put it in with our living room design whenever I go to redo it soon here. All right, well, I think that's everything that I've picked up since my last antique haul. If you want to see all of my antique hauls for this farmhouse, I have a playlist where I share videos like this regularly just to show you what it is that I'm picking up. You can check that out down in the description box below and move through it and see how this home has progressed because it definitely is taking a whole new shape as I add more things and collect to have this vintage country farmhouse Victorian style. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.